Yo, what's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back today with episode number 10 of my NCAA Football 14 Dynasty with the Northwestern Wildcats. And this is week number 7 of the season. We are coming off a very heartbreaking loss to Ohio State, number 1 Ohio State at the time. And again, that loss was 24-21, to last second play. If you missed that episode, go check it out. It is in the playlist down below uh, in the description of this video. But we're taking on a pretty tough Wisconsin team who is 4-1, 1-1 one, one and one in the Big Ten. Their only loss also coming to Ohio State. But we're going to score first here. Like we've seemed to been doing most of the season, we're attacking early. And Venrick Mark is going to get in across the goal line for a 7-0 lead. Wisconsin's a pretty good team. Like I mentioned, their only loss to Ohio State. Looking at their rankings coming into this game, they are a very good team on the ground, averaging 204 rushing yards per game and 24th in the nation with 402 total yards of offense. And their defense isn't too bad either, allowing only 15.8 points per game. That gets them 10th in the country. And we're doing pretty well ourselves. As I mentioned, our only loss of the season to Ohio State. So we're coming into this game with a 4-1 record. We've already had one bye week, but we are 0-1 in the Big Ten. Looking here to get our first Big Ten victory of the season. And you saw Wisconsin did tie the game up here. So we're going to get back into attack mode off of play action. We're going to find, I believe it was Tony Jones. We got two Jones on this team. It was Christian Jones. My bad, guys. Christian Jones with the deep touchdown pass off the play action to take a 14-7 lead. And we're doing pretty good. Like I mentioned, 32.2 points per game. That gets us 17th in the country and also 17th in the country in yards per game. I'm sorry, passing yards per game with 252.6. Our defense is still hanging in there. Again, not the uh, strong spot of this team, but... We're playing very well, ranked second in the nation, only allowing 234.6 yards per game and ranking first with only allowing 52.8 rushing yards per game. As you see, we're moving up the field here, trying to uh, score some more points. It looks like we ran out of time right before halftime, but we do add a field goal to take a 10-point lead coming into the second half. And we're just going to continue to play that good run defense. As you see there, we knocked them back for a one-yard loss. But they're going to go ahead and get some of those yards back, most of those yards back to convert. Down third and three, and they're not going to get it there. So we take over after a punt, and we're just going to move back down the field again. A couple upsets that I wanted to make note of that happened during Week 7. Number 12, Texas. Not too much of an upset. If you look at the rankings, it is. But number 12, Texas beats number 4, Oklahoma, 42-28. to Number 24, Florida beat number 15, LSU, 24-13. to And then number 1 goes down as Stanford loses to unranked Utah, 36-24. to I don't know what's up with Utah in this video game. But remember, I believe they're the ones that won the national championship in my Tulsa Dynasty last year. And uh, here they are knocking off number one Stanford. So we're going to have a new number one team next week. It obviously won't be us, but you see we'll, we're still here at number 25. And uh, with a nice comfortable right now 24-7 to lead. But Wisconsin is going to score here and cut that lead down to 10. As Tanner McCovey, I don't know if I pronounce his name wrong, gets across the goal line. They're going to try to get an onside kick, but fail at that and we're just going to try to burn this clock maintain this lead and get out of here with a victory to improve to five and one real quick the regular season has started in real life oh god look at that terrible interception that we threw what the hell was i thinking again just turnovers have really been a problem for kane coulter and you know what else is also a problem for kane coulter getting a concussion on the second play of the game not in this game but in real life I didn't really watch the Northwestern Cal game to open up the season, but I did check the box score and was really surprised to see Trevor Simeon, the backup quarterback, with pretty much all the reps in the game. And so then I later on checked out uh, some video highlights and read about the game, and apparently Kane Coulter got knocked out in the second, pay second play of the game 
with a concussion, and he's now uncertain for uh, the game against Syracuse that's this weekend. I'm definitely going to be watching that one, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what Northwestern does against my hometown team. But Northwestern did get the win against Cal 44-30. to Colin Ellis had two interceptions that led to two pick sixes in the second half. It was pretty impressive. And Cal hung in there for a while. At one point had a 24-20 to lead, uh, but it was not enough. Those two pick sixes were very crucial uh, in the game. Trevor Simeon played pretty well. Trayvon Green uh, filled in for Venrick Mark, uh, I guess who is somewhat injured right now, and had 129 rushing yards with two touchdowns. Um, so very impressive win by Northwestern, very impressive win in this game by us. And uh, we're going to, again, improve to 5-1. and one. Next couple games coming up, Minnesota, Iowa, and Nebraska. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll be back with the Minnesota game next week, or not next week, next week in the season, but pretty soon for you guys. Peace.